Hello, everybody! Riot House here. Well, actually, I'm playing as this short little dude. He almost looks like a mouse. So, Riot Mouse here. And today we're going to be playing Final Fantasy XI. Now, I'm playing this game because I am getting ready, I'm getting mentally stabilized for Final Fantasy XIV. Now, Final Fantasy XIV is coming out in August 27th of 2013, so it's right around the corner. It's only a couple months away. And until then, I'm going to get myself into this mode of yes let's play let's play and since I don't have a beta access to uh, Final Fantasy 14 well this will just have to suffice however speaking of this game Final Fantasy 11 here it is the 11th anniversary of Final Fantasy 11 yes this game has been out for 11 years hence the outdated graphics but the gameplay is still there and the gameplay pr pretty much revolves around skilling up your character. And you have basically several different jobs you can choose from. Well, not several. I'm talking about tons of different jobs. Alright, you can be a warrior, white mage, red mage, monk, black mage, thief. And then once you get to like level 20 and you do a quest, I believe, you open up all these sub-quests as well. Like the paladin, the, uh, uh, the dancer, the ninja, etc. It keeps going on and on and on. And it's quite awesome because you only need one character. You can actually change your job at any time during the game. Which is neato. I really like that. I think it was level 20 that you can choose subclasses. I'm not quite sure though. You guys don't keep me to that. I am still quite new to this game. <clears throat> Although I have played it on and off with many, many years in between. And the game has changed quite significantly since last I played with my friends. So... Okay, so what are we doing here today? Well, I bring you here today because I'm going to be working on a mission. And I'm going to be uh, trying to finish a mission along with explaining whatever details of the game that I think I know uh, to you guys. Okay, so one of the first things is that I want to do, I want to talk to Hara, Harara. He's a war warlock. And he can cast a certain special thing on me called Signet. Okay. So Signet allows me to fight for my realm, and in so doing I earn conquest points. And in doing so, we all earn conquest points, we of the Wind Erstian city of magic and awesomeness. And uh, when we fight in areas, if we earn more conquest points than the other realms, then we get special rewards, or uh, access to items and resources I believe. But that's quite an old part of the game, and it's not something I ever really devoted myself to. But anywho, what's more important is for me individually, it allows me to have the chance of the enemies that I kill of dropping uh, earth crystals, fire crystals, wind crystals, lightning crystals, water crystals, etc. Now those things, those, are worth a lot of gill on the auction place. So it's a revenue generating thing for me, pretty much. That's all I use it for, for now. Anywho, so we are doing a mission uh, back inside there. Uh, there's a gate guard back over there that you can talk to to acquire your first mission. And so if I go ahead and show you guys my first mission. Let's see here. It is the Horu Toto Ruins Experiments mission from Windhurst. So the Horu Toto Ruins Experiments mission. I can go ahead and read the mission orders here. The Minister of the Oristeri is conducting an experiment in the Eastern Magic Tower of the Horu Toto Ruins. Located in East Saruta Baruta. Inquire at the Oristeri first, then go system. I've already acquired there, and decided I was going to start a let's play for this game. It's kind of a spur of the moment thing, but it's not going to be something that I fully entirely dedicate myself to, to tell you the truth, because there's a lot of emptiness in between interesting activities. Obviously it's an MMO, so it's not something I'm going to be playing or uh, planning on creating a let's play every single day. But it's something I'm going to put some content out there for you guys. And, if you guys are interested in joining me, I am playing on the Odin server. It's the most highly populated server that's left, really, of uh, Final Fantasy XI. There are other servers, however. There's the Bahamut server, and there is the uh, Asura. I think that's right, the Asura server. So there's uh, two other servers that are pretty highly populated as well. I think this server has 127,000 registered characters on this server, so that's quite a few. Hard to beat that, right? So we are traveling, here's the map. We are traveling all the way up to this area. Uh, this supposedly is the East 
Haruda Totu Tower, and uh, I just butchered that, but uh, I, I'm sure you get my drift. So that's where our mission is, and the Minister of the Oresteri is in there, and uh, he requested my assistance. Now, I'm a, a brand new adventurer. I am playing as a level 12 red mage, and I am by no means uh, geared up for uh, difficult mobs. So if it is difficult, it might be something that we cannot achieve solely by ourselves, but we're going to give it a shot. Now earlier I was recording, and I actually traveled down to this tower here. And that is the southeast tower, and it's the incorrect tower, and I was in there for about a half an hour trying to figure out what the fuck was going on. It just so happens <laughs> that I was in the wrong place. Also, I wasn't recording any audio. Alright, so, yes, fail fail and extra fail sauce. Okay, so, oh, let me show you a little bit of combat here. Alright, so, I've been training up my sword skill. Yes, you get to train individual weapon skills, uh, sword, shield, uh, daggers, axes, all sorts of different weapons. Uh, you also get to, let me show you, go to status here. If you go to combat skills, you can see my combat skills up in the top left there. Dagger, club, throwing, shield, sword, archer, evasion, parrying. Uh, the, the numbers that are in blue are already maxed out for my current level. So I will be getting nothing else. And you can see down there at the very bottom, here, bring this up. The very bottom, you find a spool of silk thread. You also find an earth crystal. So now that we have our signet, we are getting earth crystals. And earth crystals, crystals in this game are used for crafting. If you want to build anything or craft anything, you have to have crystals. I think you could also turn them in uh, for rank stuff. I'm not really sure how that works, so. Yeah, but I think you can turn in mass quantities of crystals for ranking, uh, perhaps. Not quite sure, but yeah. So, they are highly useful, highly sought after, and if you put them up on the auction in stacks of 12, they sell relatively quickly. Hello, Sam uh, Gojima. Hello. Hello. The minister of the Oresteri in, is in the laboratory near here. Uh, to get there, you should check the walls very carefully. Okay, so... And this here is something that's new to me, probably not new to any of you veteran Final Fantasy XI players out there. This is a field manual. It allows you to do uh, certain training regimes. Um, let's see, let's cancel my current one. Yes, I want to cancel it. And let's see here. Da, 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 da. Okay, you can go ahead and open it up, read about individual training. Individual training will give you uh, tasks that you can do solo. Now, there's also elite training where they get even more difficult, and field support. Field support allows you to get certain um, uh, spells cast on you for the tabs that you've accumulated. I've accumulated 135 of these, and I haven't used any of this yet. Uh, let's see here. I think I'll have them cast Shell on me. Am I certain? Yes. So, whammo! Shell, if you're familiar with Final Fantasy, uh, gives you protection against magic, right? All right, and the other thing is, I'm gonna refresh my protect spell. I can cast protect on myself, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Ha! All right, so let me show you my spells here real quick. I have Dia. It's a white magic damage over time. Also lowers their defense a little bit. I also have Cure. It cures me. I'm relatively poor at casting the spell though. And I have Stone. It's a direct damage spell. Poison. A damage over time. Protect. Improves my defense. Bar sleep. Um, basically. Uh, it's anti-sleep, so if they try to cast a sleep spell on me, they will not succeed if I have that on me. Uh, blind. Blind reduces the accuracy of our opponents, and then water, another direct damage, and bind actually roots the enemy in place so they can't pursue me. So that's bind. Alright, down we go. Down we go! Into the depths! Alright. Uh, let me go over my equipment really quick. Might as well. Alright, so I have a Spatha. It's a sword. I also have a maple shield. It allows me to block. Not really too interested in the defense that it provides since it's not all that good, but it does allow me to use my block skill, which is very bad. Uh, my block skill is horrible right now. Uh, Destrier Bray. This is a... If you go and buy the game off of Steam right now, you will get the Destrier Bray and the Chocobo shirts. These are both awesome newbie gear items 
that will help you get through the levels so much faster than before. Leveling, like I said, at least from level 1 to 31, is uh, very much helped with these items. So I have the Destria Beret. Uh, it's an enchanted item. The latent effects adds regen and refresh effects. I'm sorry, level 1 to 30, not level 1 to 31. It also adds auto re-raise. Auto re-raise, when you die, you get uh, resurrected on the spot. All right, and then the Chocobo shirt gives me a 50% accuracy bonus to ranged attacks and to magic attacks and to just flat out melee accuracy. And it also gives me the ability, ability to appreciate uh, Gisol greens, which are the favorite food of Chocobos, I believe. And innate, initiate and below reduces likelihood of synthesis material loss. So that has to do with crafting. Okay, so you'll have a higher chance chance of not losing anything when you craft. So anywho, those are the two items that I have currently on me, which is pretty cool. Now here's another field manual. In fact, let's go ahead and use this field manual. And let's go at individual training and let's read page one. Okay, the information on this page instructs you to defeat the following. Two Batu Bats and three Goblin Thugs. Level range of one to six. Uh, no. Let's try page two. Two Blade Bats and three Goblin Weavers. One to seven. Mm, no. We are level twelve. So let's go down to page six. Three Death Watch Beetles and three Goblin Fleshers. Level 79 to 82. Definitely not. Come on now. Alright, try page three. Alright, three Battle Bats and two Blobs. No, I can't do that either. So it looks like we'll do page two. So that's level one to seven. Alright, that's something we can do. I thought they would have something in between around my level. Uh, no, we won't set to repeat. We'll just do it once. Okay. So, down we go. And that was two blade bats and three goblin weavers. So here's the bat two bats. We're going to avoid these guys. Now, it said pay close attention to the walls. So apparently, uh, this is the only route that we can go. The other tower that I went into, uh, was a circle. Or a square. I went around that thing. I did like four laps around that thing. I'm like, I don't get it. Where is this? minister guy because I'm not that intelligent to figure out that I was at the wrong tower or that there could possibly be two of these towers in one zone but anywho I did figure it out eventually and luckily you guys don't have to watch that okay so off we go We're looking for this dude uh, there's that way as well huh I'm gonna go check out this room first. It's probably farther in. Goblin thugs here. And what are those things? What is that? That is an ancient magical gizmo. Interesting. Ancient magical gizmos are all over this place apparently. I don't know what they do. Don't know what they do at all. Okay, so if we go this way and to the left, perhaps we'll find something. Anything in this room over here? Just another magical gizmo thing? Looks like it. There are weavers in there, however. I don't even know if I'm going to do that training regime, but I did want to show you guys how you can go ahead and select one. If anything, we're going to do the mission here. That's for sure. Alright. Here's another one. And another one. Well, let's go in here. Let's go in here and see what's up. Hello, Goblin Weaver. He looks like easy prey. No, they wouldn't hide him, would they? They wouldn't possibly hide him. Okay. Well, what I'll do is... Uh, uh, I'll pause the video here and when we come back... I uh, will have found this guy. Alright, and we're back. Okay, so I found this little crack on the wall. We're gonna go ahead and check this out. And look at that! It was a secret door. How interesting that they would play that kind of game with me! Alright, and here they have blade bats. 
They're easy prey. Let's go ahead and try to kill one of these things. Let's go into attack mode. I don't have any of my macros set up. Macros allow you just to easily click and attack um, the enemy. I haven't set up any of that yet. Over. Yeah! Alright. So they don't seem to like water. They don't like water too much. That's good. Alright, so the blade bats have been destroyed. Excellent. Now, down here... Uh, I think we'll go this way. Actually, I do need to kill one of these goblin weavers. Three of these goblin weavers, I believe. Let's kill one right now. I challenge you to a duel! Foul goblin weaver! Prepare to meet thy doom! I very much play this uh, red mage almost as a warrior. Um, one of the main reasons why I chose the red mage is because they're very soloable. Uh oh. Engage! Goblin thugs like, you killed my father in law! How dare you! How dare you slay my father in law! Prepare to meet thy doom. Alright. Drink water, fool! There you go. One more hit should fell this evildoer. There we go. Alright, so he has been vanquished. Excellent. Let's go in here, shall we? But everyone else says the same thing, brother. Why, oh why, won't you listen to what I'm trying to tell you? Apururu. At long last we've achieved peace. Why risk destroying it? Behind your backy-wacky, some people say that you're setting out to start a war. What's more, you know that this laboratory in the Horutoto ruins is off limits. What do they know? And you, Apuriru, my own Sistaru, can tell you you see the truth behind all of this. Why do you think they all fear war, but won't lift a finger winger to do anything about it? Yes, they have this childish talk. It's silly. I think they've removed that in Final Fantasy XIV, thank god. But if you do enjoy it, go for it. Uh, they all say that Windhurst has peace and security. Peace and security. But do you really, really think our country has peace? The wounds of the Oresteri received from the war haven't healed, and even after 20-odd years, the best of the war warlock mages are dying off, unable to train new, younger replacement Taurus. Just imagine what would happen if war broke out again. Windhurst would be obliterated in an instant. Taru, that's why... That's why we need some grand new magic. But what about the star, Sybil? Yes, and what about her? What was the reason she forbade the very magic I seek? If they could have controlled that magic properly, then we wouldn't have had to buddy-buddy with the Beastmen in the first place. Sure, the Spellweaver died, but the magic itself was a great success. Only you, my dear brother, would call such a great tragedy a success. The mastermind of the millennium met such a tragic fate. So what chance would a faker, waker, genius like you stand, Ajido Marujido? <laughs> Say whatever you like. <laughs> <laughs> Say what Taru you like. A genius is never accepted by the world in his own time. If you've just come here to whinge and whine, then off with you. Go on, Gitaru. Well, I've tried my hardest to convince you. Now I don't care what happens to you anymore, brother. Don't come crying to me if you get yourself killed. And enter I... <laughs> I waddle on in on the conversation. Hello! I feel like I have a diaper on my ass. Oi! Who's that over there? Uh, 
Ah, oh, what's that Taru you say? A wannabe newbie adventure, huh? I don't want to be a newbie adventure. So you're the one they sent to help me with my experiments. Well, you're too latey waity. The experiment is over. This gizmo just broke down again. And then my pesky little Sistaru wandered on and just wandered on in just to add insult to injury. Well, I've had enough for one day. I'm headed home. Seeing as you've come all this way, I'd hate for you to go home empty-handed, so here's a little job for you. On your way here, you probably noticed the glowing receptacle gizmos here and there, didn't Taru you? Well, inside each of them, there's a magical ball called a mana orb. And I think one of those mana orbs was broken when my experiment failed just now. Your job is to find the broken sphere and take it back to the oristary. Oh, and one more thing. Don't go blabbing about what you just heard here. All right, Taru. Gotcha. I wouldn't dream of doing that. Okay, so that was pretty cool. Off we go to all those magical gizmos and try to find one that works. Wasn't it? Or was it one that was busted? I'd forget. We're going to go find out right now. Okay, so here is the secret door just remember that there's little cracks in the side of the wall see that it's so blatantly obvious now but when you're running by it it's like eh, I can't find it I don't know but I know now and so do you I just showed you a secret in Final Fantasy 11 okay so here we are we're gonna be checking all of these ancient magical gizmos for an orb and I'm gonna try to do it so that we can we don't miss one and then hence get lost and etc uh, that one is not broken okay is this it no it is not are you the one no you are not I have a good feeling about this one. Here we go. And the feeling was incorrect. This has to be it. This has to. Haha! -ha! Ah, we've obtained a key item, the cracked mana orb. Yes, indeed! So let us be off here. Let us be off. Alright, so... I'm going to venture all the way back to Wind Erst, and from there we're going to travel to the Oristeri, and we're going to finish this mission. Nobody stands in my way and gets away with it. Prepare to die, tiny Mandragora. Yeah! Yeah! Ha! Victory! Indeed. Alright, so here we are back at Winter City. We're almost done with our mission here. Now we just need to travel to the Oristeri. I'll show you guys where that's at on the map as soon as I get there. Okay, so... Look at the map here. We're over here. We're gonna be traveling this route... ...to there. And the Oristeri's uh, that away. Okay? All right, gentlemen, so here we are in the Windhurst port, and all we gotta do is travel this away, all the way to this Oryst area here. You can see it's marked on the map, so that's where we're heading right now. Maybe there's other people we can see along the way. It's been so empty, except for that lone hero that helped me out earlier today. I was fighting uh, about five enemies at the same time, and I was doing pretty good, but I knew I was going to go down. I had killed one of them, and there's still three left to go. And then out of nowhere, a monk came in and kung fu down a couple of bats for me. And then I was able to successfully dispatch the last. And that was pretty nice of him, because without him, I think I would have been toast. But anywho, alright. So, this is Winter's Port. Here you can purchase uh, at each of those three boats. There are spells, weapons, and armor. So, very useful indeed. So, uh, Winter's Port, 
That is a nice little area. There's not a lot of people here in Winters, though. It's actually quite empty right now. Last night, there was, like... There was raids going on. There's still people doing a lot of the high-end content for this game. And, because you only need one character, uh, you do see quite a few people of low level uh, working on their lower level job skills that have that they have yet to finish. So here's the Oristeri. Let's get a nice little view of that. Wow, look at this magnificent structure. It's daunting. Alright, so in we go. Now, I don't know who to talk to, but I think I need to... Mojo Pojo, that's such an awesome name. Okay, I think we need to talk to Hakuru Rinkuru. So, you were able to meet our Flub the Dub minister, huh? The minister came back an itsy bitty ago, or an itty bitty ago, <laughs> was straight out of the door again. Oh, and that's the no go mana orb. Ah, uh, so you were the one the minister was mumbling about when he huff and puffingly ran in and out of here, and he told us to take the hunk of junk crapped, cracked <laughs> mana orb off of you. Okay. Thanks for your humdrum help today. We look forward to having your help. You help us again during our next maiden. That was the victory music, my friends. The victory music. Yeah. That's pretty cool. And with the completion of that mission, our rank won. Uh, <clears throat> our rank went up. We got rank points for doing that, which is awesome. Really cool. I don't really know what that is going to do for us, but it's certainly to be excellent. All right, guys. Well, anywho, this has been quite a long let's play. A nice little introduction to Final Fantasy XI. There's so much content in this game. There are like 10 different expansions, and the game is celebrating its 11th anniversary. So I would recommend that if you guys have any interest in Final Fantasy, or if you're looking forward to Final Fantasy XIV that's coming out in August 27th, then you might want to do a little bit of catch-up and experience memories again. That's what I'm doing. I'm having a lot of fun. Expect to see more of these Let's Plays in the future. And, uh, yeah, we'll have some fun. Between now and August, hey, we got nothing but time right now, okay? Alright, so, until then, I'm Rye House. Take care, and happy gaming. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And join me here on the Odin server for Final Fantasy XI. Goodbye.